I have an expansion here for the game Zulkin. It is a Euro style work replacement game. And this is the Tribes and Prophecies expansion. And this is from Czechs, Czech Games Edition. And I believe it's Real Grand Games is the US distributor. But in this game, I believe it adds some uh, tribes to the game. And in doing that, it kind of gives each player a specific identity. Where in the base game, they're all kind of playing the same uh, just blank canvas player who's uh, really the. Uh, your style of play kind of defines it, whereas this gives you more of a uh, a set way to start playing from the beginning. You know, special abilities and other things. But you're going to get 13 tribe tiles, 13 prophecy tiles, a uh, new prophecy board, eight new buildings, and the buildings are just tiles that you can buy during the game and build to get bonuses. Uh, wooden components for a fifth player, so it adds another player to the game. Uh, new two-sided player board for the fifth player. Seven new harvest tiles. It's going to be these pieces here where you get corn and wood. Thirteen quick action tiles, a quick action board, and 30 plus resource blocks. So I'm guessing it's giving you more wood, stone, and gold to possibly accommodate for that fifth player. And you're going to get the rule book in here. It's a fairly thin box so it's not going to be a huge amount of components in here I don't believe. So here's the different components for the or the wooden pegs for the components so it looks like we have the the worker pieces to place are these cylinders that are the orange pieces. Flip through the book, it may have it defined there what all the pieces are. Yeah, so the, the brown ones are resource blocks, the yellow ones are resource blocks, and the gray ones are resource blocks. I believe it's going to be corn. Oh no, they're gold, wood, and stone, respectively. And then the little circles there for the fifth player to place in some different places on the board to keep track of things. So you get two small ones and one large one. Really just expands on the base game there. Looks like we have one tile board of tiles here, but it's missing. Looks like they pop out pretty easy. So this is a prophecy, the prophecy board. Looks like maybe you can, uh, at different points in the game, maybe prophecy tiles come out. Yeah, it says on the book that uh, for each prophecy lasts for one quarter of the game and it makes different aspects of the game harder and it looks like it gives bonuses to those that can overcome that difficulty and aspect of the game. And then you have the prophecy tiles here that have kind of the stone face there on the back. And it looks like they'll come out randomly so I'm not exactly sure. It's got some different symbology on the cards there. I guess it's representing things being more difficult for those particular aspects of the game. So that's 12 of them right there. And the prophecy tile came in there. 
looks like we have the different tribe boards here. And they've kind of already fallen out. You get another token sheet with trial boards and it has eight of them on there. But they're, uh, these are nice thick tokens. But they're just falling out of the punch board fairly easy. So you can see they're going to give you some different abil abilities. I'm sure I'm going to butcher these names, but you have the It's Omna tribe and their special thing is when paying for to advance the technology, you pay according to this table. Whenever you advance above level three, you may choose any technologies level four bonus. So you can see that you have another one here, the Bacab. If you begin your turn with less than two corn, take corn from the bank so that you begin with exactly two corn. If you beg for corn, you end up with four instead of three. So, just some different abilities. You can see here. Whereas normally you'd start out all with the same basic set to the game and choose your approach through the game. This gives you a little bit more targeted approach to it. See they all have different kinds of abilities they can use. So those are the first eight off of that first punch board. And then it looks like you're gonna get another five on this punch board pop those out real quick and we'll look at that punch board in just a minute so you can see this continues on with the tribes that you can get I just pause them for a second so you could pause the screen and read that if you want to I'm not going to read through all of them I'm not sure if those come out randomly or if you can assign them. Then the rest of this punch board here looks to have these, I'm guessing, are quick action tiles. I'm not sure how they work. They look like maybe. I'm not sure what those do. They provide actions that you can take. I'm not sure how they come out into the game. Here you have your more wood and corn tokens. Probably to account for the fact that you're going to have more players in the game. And then you have some more buildings. You're going to get four of the level two buildings and four of the level one buildings. The level one buildings are down here. You can see you got the cost of what it costs to to build them and then the uh, result of what you're going to get for building them. The level ones look like they may get multiple effects based on the uh, phase of the game and then the level twos look like they give some more one time effects. And then you're going to get one last punch board here with more of these quick action tiles and I don't know if maybe you can buy those like you do building somehow and you just buy a random one that you can use or if they supplement the board looks like this is a quick action board So it looks like maybe they go on this board and then you can pay to use that quick action. I don't know if it's going to go away after every use and a new one comes out. Or 
what's going to happen. But it looks like this is a little board where these quick action tiles go, and then it looks like it has an amount that can be paid. So you can see it's got some other things there. You have the player board here. It's two-sided so they can keep track of their different uh, abilities and what, what they need to do. And it's two-sided to show when you advance the wheel on a double so you know that you can only advance it once during a game like that so they you know if you turn it over that you can't do that action again and this is the last prophecy tile the 13th one that uh shows what you can do with that that's everything that comes in zulkin tribes and prophecies an expansion for the zulkin game